We've got 7500, which is a thriller, which is on uh, Amazon Prime. It stars Joseph Gordon-Levitt. He is an American uh, co-pilot flying a commercial airliner from Berlin to Paris. On board the plane, along with the passengers, are is a flight attendant with whom he has a young child. And it turns out a group of hijackers who storm the cockpit shortly after takeoff. And the rest of the film then plays out almost entirely within the confines of, of, of the cockpit itself. So the film is directed by uh, Patrick Vollrath, who's a German director who got an Oscar nomination for his short film, Everything Will Be OK. And, you know, we were talking before, we mentioned 127 hours. Um, I said there's not much hiking in it because he's stuck in one place. This is a film that has some of the kind of claustrophobia of a film like, you know, Buried or, or Lock or even 127 hours in which there is a whole central section in which the character is stuck in one central location and uh they make the most of that location it's a handheld cameras sort of moving very dexterously around the cockpit and you know sinewy widescreen sensibility but also that kind of sense of confinement and not a big music score or anything it's just to do with the ambient sound of the airplane and the film plays out in something approaching real time it's not quite real time but it has the kind of sense that it is i mean it's an odd film it's sort of balanced somewhere between the melodrama of those 70s airport movies, airport and its sequels. And obviously the kind of post 9-11 sensibility of Paul Greengrass's United 93. And it's sometimes that that is a kind of, un, it's an awkward uh, marriage. In the second half of the film, it does try to do the thing about bringing one of the hijackers and the and uh, the central character, Tobias, together. They're both then shut in the cockpit and it becomes a kind of psychological drama. To be honest with you, that's the bit that works the least well, but as a as a sort of technical exercise in how much tension can we get out of a single locked down environment in a sort of you know confined running time? Um, actually, I thought it, it worked very well. It is it is quite grueling. It is quite nail biting. Um, there is some stuff in it is really nasty. Some stuff in it is unexpected. It moves into the realm of cliche more in the second half, but I thought it was it, it, it was pretty well done, and it wouldn't just surprise me at all if the director, Patrick Laura, actually ends up getting off the back of this commissions to, to helm some pretty big movies, because what it, it's like a calling card film. It's a kind of like, look what I can do with fairly limited resources. So I, I thought it was pretty decent. It's on Amazon Prime now. Okay, and what's it called again? It's called 7500, which is the, 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 the squawk box code for a hijacking. It's not 7500, as some people have referred to it. It's not, it's not a height thing, it's 7500.